All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, perform the mixing neutrals area, which is here. So again, neutral colors are colors that go with all other colors and color schemes. However, when it comes to neutrals, we know that there are white, black, brown, gray, but we want to make these colors often too. Making our neutral colors is more sophisticated, gives a more interesting look to your paintings rather than using some sort of color straight out of the tube. So when we talk about neutrals, we also talk about neutralizing colors. To neutralize a color means to bring down its chromatic value. And as we've stated before, reducing its, a color's chromatic intensity, its, its brightness, its saturation, these are all sort of synonyms for chroma, one of the properties of color, we mix a tone, a shade, or a tint of that particular color. So by mixing a complementary color, we can neutralize a pure hue, making a either a neutral color like a brown, like you see here when I've taken yellow and violet, or I can tone down my yellow by adding a bit of violet, or I can tone down my violet by adding a bit of yellow. This reduces its chroma. Okay, so what I've done already is one example. I've made a pure hue of yellow, not too uh, thick, not too opaque, and a violet, not too opaque. Now, on the handout, it says 50-50. That doesn't mean you mix 50% yellow and 50% uh, violet. It's not quantities. It's visual effect. <clears throat> so what you're going to have to do is really observe what's happening on your palette and mix just enough to get... A neutral hue. It should ne look neither warm nor cool. So not too yellow, not too violet. This is tricky. It's going to take some time, a little bit of practice. These neutral values or these neutral colors in the middle that you make will be various shades of baby poop colors, so, but they should be fairly close in value to the one I've made here. All right? So you can use any three complementary pairs. I chose yellow and violet orange and blue, yellow, orange, and blue, violet. But you can use it whatever ones you want. All right, so to begin, you're going to make your pure hues. And again, I've wet my colors before I start. So for orange, obviously orange is a secondary color. I have an orange spot already kind of started here, but I'll mix it fresh. So I'm going to take a pure hue of yellow, fairly saturated paint. I'm using a number eight brush, I believe, and some magenta. Again, we're only using those three primary hues, yellow, magenta, and cyan for this exercise. Do not use your paint set for any other um, colors other than the ones I've given you. So to make an orange, we're going to start with the yellow and slowly add the magenta to observing what's happening here until I get an orange color that I'm happy with. So orange will go here in the pure hue area. Do a wash. I have some magenta sitting in there. Make sure to wipe that off first. If you have a little puddle of paint like that, while it's wet, blot, don't rub, blot it off. Or if it's dry, you can <clears throat> just slightly wet it with a brush in that little particular area and blot it off. Just like the results. Okay, so here is orange. It's a bit watery, but it's fine. What is the complement of orange? Blue. I don't have blue. How do you make blue? Take cyan, and make enough, um, make enough color, and leave it on your palette because you're going to need that. I'm going to add a touch of magenta to make it blue. Not too much to make it violet, just a tiny bit. I'm going to add it off to the side here. I'm going to slowly bring them together. Make a blue color that I'm happy with. Keep it 
crystals of your brush intact. It should be a nice cone. Got some funky thing going on. Okay, so again, not too saturated. Perform a wash in that little box. Keep the pink translucent. You can do a nice job of this. Brushing. If you have excess paint in an area, you can blot off your brush, soak up the excess. All right, so there's blue. To make the brown, it would have been nice if I put these closer together on my palette, <clears throat> but I didn't. I'm gonna make a little, my yellow is really watery, so I'm gonna make it a little more opaque. The orange. I'm going to add it to blue. I'm going to put it off to the side somewhere. Okay, so I just leave a little spot like that. It's going to turn kind of brownish. You can see it happening. So it's a little bit on the greenish brown side, yes? Why is it turning green? Because yellow and the cyan will make green. So it will be sort of a greenish brown color. Um, we can carefully kind of balance it out. I'm going to make a little brown spot up here as well. You can see now I've warmed it up slightly and it is approaching brown. So poofy looking brown color. Make it go here. We touch on the warm side, but it's pretty damn close. Some excess paint. Take some off. Go out to the edges. Good enough. All right. So for the warm neutralized and the cool neutralized, I'm going to use that brown color still, and I'm just going to warm it up or cool it down, depending on which spot I need to go to. So I've got this cool one here that I'm going to add enough more blue to that little area I made. It should still look blue, just kind of muted. Green. Again, I should have probably tested that on a separate piece of paper. So I have another piece of paper nearby to test it first. Don't go guns blazing like I did there. Should look something like this. It will look slightly different. So on and so forth. I can show you the warm, and I will stop the camera and show you the finished ones for the rest of the chart. All right. All right, wash brush. We'll do the warm neutralized column for the orange. So again, I had that little the sun's coming in. I had the uh, brown spot here, so I'm going to use some orange, a little bit of the brown, bring it together. It should be a neutralized orange color. So again, this reduces its chromatic value. It is not an intense orange anymore. It still reads as an orange. So we have made used a complementary tone to make neutrals and to neutralize our pure hues. All right. I think you get that. We'll proceed with that process through whatever complementary pairs you choose. Right? So if you use yellow and violet, I think I mix a tiny bit of violet here. 
bit more yellow for this one. Let's see if I have this one. 